All right, now some of you may have seen the fish room already and some may wonder to yourself, why do my fish tanks look like that? Why do they not look all clean and pristine? Well, for one, I haven't done water changes in a long time, that helps. And two, we'll break down the reasons why with different tanks because they all have different reasons why they look like they do. So let's go ahead and start with this section over here. Now, a big reason why it's like this is I like to focus on breeding fish and what happens is since these are no filter aquariums they have biological filtration they don't have any chemical or mechanical filtration and when i mean biological filtration that's all the beneficial bacteria the mom everything else but what i do is i like to play musical fish with my fish when breeding them and what will happen is i'll set their tanks up they'll have nice plants in them and then what eventually happens is what is going on up top here where it all turn into out algae it'll take over the plants here you can see i got some baby glossolepis maculosis some really rare rainbow fish but since i overfeed for all the microorganisms in there and for the babies which i use this tetracolor tropical granules not sponsored i just like it because it's orange but i just pinch it between my fingers so there's all these little dustings and some of the granules go down the snails will eat them the microorganisms will eat off what these guys don't eat and then they can eat off the microorganisms as well but what eventually happens is you end up with a bunch of that and that's what happened down here but the only difference is i ended up pulling all that out and since this is sandy substrate there's a lot of mold there's tons of pearl weed which mold generated up underneath it plus there's like a bazillion shrimp in here it has been like this for weeks because it never really settled it stays in the water column and i haven't done any water changes and when i say i haven't done any water changes it's been months now i do top off in these aquariums but since it's breeder focused breeding focused to conserve certain fish it looks like this now saying the opposite i could do water changes focus more on plants because water changes are great for plants but the only problem with the water changes let's move over here and i can show you not the easiest to capture but if you see all these tiny not the things on the front of the screen but all those little white dots all over there it looks like clouded white dots that's paramecium which is tiny itty bitty you can see it moving there look at all those microorganisms moving in there which is food for the fry in here there you can see a bunch of fry once again glossolepis maculosis fry but if i were to do water changes that wouldn't build up so for me that stuff is great but unfortunately for my rotalia here the lack of water changes isn't so great you can see the algae is actually dying here in the middle where it's turning white so that is a good sign when you see your algae turning white that means it is dying and i could help control this by pulling out the algae manually which usually it'll grow as one big thing after it does get so huge and you can roll it all out same with down here if you go to my video the red rarest fish in the united states this tank actually looked really good and then now since it's just babies it's looking like this but i don't worry about this because i could always rebound it man those things are so tiny but i don't worry about this because it is worth all these babies everywhere they're just so tiny still well, there you can see a bunch of the fry. Fry are still so tiny. This is the easiest way to raise these small type fish. A lot of people struggle with these types of fish because they don't know what to feed them. Nature feeds them. So that's why you end up seeing a lot of tanks like this and like that. Now I'll do some water changes on this, settle it through some time. I do want to get more on a water change regimen just to help grow some plants. Because if you do just a little bit, not too big of water changes, do small water changes by weekly they can help now with some tanks i just won't do it what's up buddy i just won't do it with because once again the infusoria i don't want to mess that stuff up especially when there's babies already in there but some of these other tanks look like this and this and that for other reasons let's hop into this now you see this tank crystal clear looking great with all that bacopa but right above it it's green water city why well one 
there's not much plants in there algae is pretty much the only plant in there plus these platies are always mouthing at stuff which throws it into the water column which the green water will feed off too so excess nutrients and lots of light for plants that aren't there now this one's a bit weird because this is unique to my situation i never saw this in my old house but due to the sand that i used i pulled it out in an area where there had been a fire so i knew there was going to be some char and whatnot within it now i don't know is this from the char but this is like a brown that i just i've never seen and you can see the fish are all doing fine it could just be the sand the mold but which it doesn't look like it but there's actually a bunch of synodonis lucipennis in here i threw some food in there to pull them out uh, see there they are so these guys are the culprit to why this tank looks like this as well because these guys just kick everything up and around inside this tank which always keeps the water column dirty like this so keeping fish like this can be really hard to see them quarry cats those catfish um some other loach types anything that kicks up the bottom a lot placos they can be hard to keep in a no filter aquarium because there's nothing churning it over and getting the debris out now saying that if you do have a filter and you want clear clear water don't ever clean your filter because the less you clean that filter the tighter the microns get and the less gets pushed back into your aquarium after it hits that dirty media and once again green water over here slight bit of brown and also i know it's hard to see but you see on top of this leaf here there's all this mold that gets kicked up from these loaches and it's all over the leaves so that is the number one cause to algae growing on plants so if you don't get this knocked off which mechanical filters can help with and also fish guppies platies mollies can help knock that off and lessen your chance for algae the only problem is you end up overfeeding the mollies guppies and platies to try to get them to breed that can be one problem but watch out for that you can always knock it down or just not have fish that put it up there if you're doing no filter or just have a filter but anyways that's why those tanks look like that and down here you can see where i'm actually battling algae but then my plants are starting to grow over so over time as my plants grow more they can out compete the algae but i do overfeed this colony a lot because these are my rainbow tiger endlers. These things are absolutely awesome. I want them to breed out a lot. So I do heavy feed that tank. But yeah, most of this algae growth is from overfeeding. Look at that. That thing's crazy. Just one big glob of hair algae. Rope fish like it. They don't seem to mind it. And you can see why this does. This, I open up my door and this tank gets a lot of sunlight. You can see how this algae hits harder in this corner here. And last but not least, this mascara barb tank. Why does it look so horrible? As you can see here, where you can actually see where the mascara barbs run back and forth like a trail they leave on the glass here. See all the snail trails. But the reason reason why this tank is like how it is is because this is a breeding tank and I did not want to disturb it so more you get into your tank if I was scraping this cleaning it all the time these guys would always be like what the heck he's always coming in here disturbing stuff the less I mess the more comfortable they feel to do the things that they need to do. And saying that, I do have babies from these guys now, lots of babies, and now I know how I can mass produce them, which is something I've been trying to do for a long, long time. But we'll get these guys out, we get it cleaned up too. It's so hard to have the fancy, nice YouTube picture quality fish tanks when you're a breeder. It's just, it's not equitable. So for me, you will see dirty tanks, just know why. Also, hope Hopefully this helps you guys identify some things that may be going on with your aquariums as well. That way you can cater it to your specific needs. And things like this does happen in shrimp tanks too. Once again, overfeeding, over lighting. I have the light turned on the side so it doesn't get too much light, but you can see where it's getting that light, boom. But eventually, see this works for a scrubber for me. Until these plants grow out in it, this will be my scrubber of excesses, of excess nutrients, excess waste, everything else. 
else. And you can see in this blue dream tank where the water is a bit cloudy. Now shrimp throw a lot of things into the water column and there is a high population in here. You don't see very many in here right now because I haven't fed them yet. But if I feed them, they will come out and they are crazy everywhere. You can see them all over the rock. Well, let's say this got overpopulated. Then it would start turning milky white. If you start seeing a milky white tank, you have definitely want to change the water because then you got a bacteria bloom that means you're overpopulated maybe cut down your population and start doing some water changes as far as what this is on the tank this is old green algae that has kind of died away and i don't know it became like a mole mixture because there is a power head in here moving stuff around and now the fish actually eat off that a lot the baby fish also another thing that can cause green water is if you have a lot of breaking down of vegetative material that chlorophyll all that that can feed that green water like crazy then you also get things where you've got hard water that actually mineralizes collect to the side of your tank grows these little algae carpets and stuff now you can scrape it off or you can make backgrounds and stuff out of it it's really up to you but it likes to grow on the black more so than over here on the non-painted side so this hasn't been painted but this has been painted black so that absorption of that light is holding it and i think that's helping feed that i don't know kind of weird but i have noticed that that's what tends to happen it always collects on the spot that you painted hope this video has helped some of you guys thank you so much for watching until next time everybody peace have a great one